what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Hey friends, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie and welcome to my kitchen where you'll find lots of cooking videos then sometimes we'll go out to the farm where you'll find some farm videos or maybe back in the house some grocery hauls or clothing hauls or something like that. You never know what you're going to get. And every weekend we do a weekend vlog where we just kind of wrap up the week. And that's normally on Saturdays, but I believe I'm going to move that to Sundays. So if we're going to get supper done and in the oven and be able to eat before midnight, I've got to get it in there now because we are doing... You're doing ribs tonight and I like to cook my ribs low and slow y'all I'm set in my ways on how I cook my ribs I used to do them in the crock pot not anymore I do them in the oven low and slow and they are amazing they are amazing so the first thing we need to start with is the rub so stay tuned we're gonna make some delicious succulent ribs tonight okay so the thing about today's rub and the ribs is we're gonna make one slab regular and then we're gonna make another slab slightly a little more lower carb so I'm gonna show you how to do that and I'm gonna give you if you want to make it all one way I'll show you how to do that but right now everything is the same and I'll tell you when there's a difference so let's get started measuring out our ingredients. Okay, so we're gonna start with a fourth of a cup of paprika. If you can find smoked paprika, that's better. Fourth of a cup of paprika. Okay, we're gonna go in with a tablespoon of garlic powder. And I don't level it off, I just go for it. A tablespoon of onion powder. Let me grab my salt and pepper. Y'all, I almost had everything over here. <laughs> Those of you that follow me know this is just me. I don't ever have any everything. I cook like a normal cook. I'm not on a cooking show. <laughs> Well, actually, I guess I am, but anyway, a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of pepper. All right, now we're going to a little smaller. I need a teaspoon of chili powder. Oops, that's paprika. Chili powder. And I have a half a teaspoon scoop here. So we'll... And a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. There we go. All right, now that is all the same. And they're just gonna give it a stir. Now, let me tilt it up and tell you how we're gonna change it up just a little bit. Okay, normally if I was not making a healthy version, I would add to this right now a fourth of a half a cup, sorry, a half a cup of brown sugar. But since I'm doing one rib regular and one rib lower carb, I'm going to split this seasoning that I have mixed up already, split it into two separate bowls. And in one bowl, put a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. And in the healthy bowl, I'm gonna use um, this Swerve. It is the ultimate sugar replacement and it's brown sugar. Uh, replacement so it it 
you just off, you just use it like you would brown sugar. So I'm gonna make a regular and a, but if you wanted it all regular, just add you a half a cup of brown sugar. Okay, everybody, let's look here. I've got the regular brown sugar in here and the other one in this, and we're just gonna mix it up. And you know what the best way to mix it is get just right in here. And the, the ingredients up into the brown sugar equaled out to be a fourth of a cup in each bowl. All right, so now what I need to do is get the the silver skin or silver film off the back of the ribs. You don't need to watch me do that because I can do it perfectly every single time, but as soon as I turn the camera on, the ribs decide to fight me. So I'm just gonna do that. Just know on the back side of the rib, there is this thin film that you need to slit with the knife and then just pull, take a napkin to hold it with and just pull it right off. Simple as that. And I promise you, unless you turn the camera on, it won't give you any problems. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll rub down the ribs. Okay guys, forgive the fact that the TV's on. There, We've got storms in the area and they are all around us. And so we've got the TV on for safety reasons. We're under a tornado warning. So um, I'm gonna get everything kind of brought over here and we're gonna massage these ribs. Okay. So let's get these ribs dressed and massaged and pamper these ribs a little bit. So the big set of ribs will be the, the normal brown sugar. Y'all watching me do that silver skin when I turn the camera on, there's something about it that just decides, the camera decides it wants to do a comedy show. And it's pretty funny. All right. These ribs have got some good fat on them. I gotta get these in the oven before the storm comes. All right, so I just take my hands and I get the sides, the edges, even the bone edges. I'll be sure that everything has been rubbed down. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use the other rub on this set and I'll bring you back when it's time to get them wrapped up and in the oven. Okay everyone, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it tightly with another sheet of aluminum foil. Now you can set your oven to 275 and leave it in there for four hours. I'm actually gonna probably turn mine to 300 just because I got two um, sheet pans going in. but it's gonna cook low and slow for four hours. And hopefully if our power don't go out, we'll have ribs later tonight. All right guys, I'm gonna get this one wrapped up and I'll see you back when they're ready to come out. Okay everybody, the ribs are out of the oven and so now we're ready to put on the barbecue sauce. Will you find me the sweet baby rays? I had it, it's right there. I left it right there. Um, let me show you. Let me tell you first of all, I don't like mine falling off the bone. I don't like it when you just pick up a bone and all the meat falls off. I like to be able to still bite a little. If you like it where the meat is falling off, leave it in the oven longer. I actually took this out at about three hours and 20 minutes. So it had a little while longer it could go. If I went closer to the four hour mark, they would be falling off the bones. Now they're just pulling off the bones beautifully, like the bones are exposed, but they're not falling off. 
So let me grab my brush and we'll baste them up good. And I'll tell you what my key is with that. Okay, so let me tell you, don't over sauce and ask me how I know. I learned that the hard way. The first set I did, they were delicious, but there was just tons of sauce on them. You don't need as much as you think you need. So let me get you turned down here. This is the regular uh, slab of ribs, and we are going to go with the Sweet Baby Ray's. I could definitely make my own sauce, but why would I? This stuff is so good. Just should have turned it upside down first. But you really do not need much at all. You just want to kind of paint like you're painting a wall. It doesn't need much. I'm going to put just a little extra over here because of the sides. And you can see somebody has already been nibbling. In fact, on the other side, we're going to leave a portion of that um, naked or with no sauce. All right, let's come over here. On this slab, we're going to be using the G. Hughes Hickory going to rinse that off while I get this poured out and I'm going to leave this lower half probably I don't know maybe a quarter that last quarter we're going to leave sauce free if you're looking for a good sugar free sauce this G Hughes is wonderful It's not sponsored. This video is not sponsored, but I just love his products. I love his ketchup. Isaac, you want any more on there? I think we need a little more. You can just do the whole thing if you want. <laughs> do the whole it thing? It smells pretty good. It's, are you sure? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, he told me to go ahead and do the whole thing. He was the one wanting us to leave a little naked. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the tin foil off the top and just we're going to put it in under the broil. I'm going to turn the oven to broil and just let this good sauce caramelize and we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay everybody they are out of the oven and they are absolutely delicious. You can tell this is the G Hughes sauce. It kind of has a more dull look whereas the um, Sweet Baby Ray's has a more shiny look, but that probably has to do with the sugar in it. So, I'm going to call the men in here to taste this and see what they think. All right, here are my handsome fellas right look here. Aren't they handsome? Look, look at them side by shirts. side. Look at us. Look, look they're twinsies. Twins. <laughs> oh, All look, right. Look right here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Watch these bones. He just pulled it right out. Do you right see there. that? Watch, That's what he this. likes. He's gonna pull out another one. Isaac's ready to okay. taste. He's over here playing hey, with bones. I'm ready to eat. Do you know? Do you know what this right here is? What Adam called Eve spare rib. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are baby backs. Yeah. He's smelling good. it. it baby really got good. back. Okay. Let's not. <laughs> That's a song, ain't it? Yeah. Here we go. Y'all ready? Mm. I can't tell. I need another bite. You can't tell. He needs another bite. Mm. Mm. Isaac said mm, the first time, Bryant said it the second. Delicious. It's not falling apart. It's still got some pull to it, and that's how I like it. Yep. That's but it's not, it's not tough. Right. It's, it's very, very tender, very, but it's, very it's, tender. It's, it's hanging on to the bone a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously not. <laughs> um, Bryant, do you want to taste ours to see if you like the lower sugar? Don't I'll eat try. much of ours, but you can try it. Try. Here we go. We have a pile of bones. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This is lower sugar. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Actually, it's no sugar. That's really good. Mhm. Mm really good. So, if you're a diabetic, what here's you a way to eat ribs. Was it? What was different about the rub? Anything? It's spicy. Look at it. <laughs> that one's spicier. It's the same. It's 
same stuff. Uh, that one's more spicier. Okay. <laughs> um, this one has... Was it the same rub? It's the same rub, except this one has a sugar-free brown sugar. That has regular brown sugar. Mm -hmm. This has a sugar-free sauce, and yours has a heavy laden with sugar or sauce. <laughs> the sugar might be cutting the spice a little bit. It mine's, might be. Mine's not as spicy as y'all's. <laughs> and y'all know I don't I don't like a lot of spice. So both of them are really good. Perfect. Look, he's got to lick his fingers. He's gonna have yeah. he's got sauce on his fingers. Quick. I'll eat all my stuff right here. <laughs> okay, now I have done my ribs on here two or three times, but this is the first time I've tested out different um, ways of cooking since some of us are doing a little bit healthier. So the in this video, you get both ways, whichever way you want to do. So thank you guys for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll see you the next time. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.